I could never picture myself living anywhere else in the world. Pretty, you know, bold statement to say now, being only 21, but of all the places I've travelled in the world, like, Coolum is just the coolest place ever. Like, it never gets old, never gets boring. I just love it here. I can go and play golf down the street, go and ride my dirt bike, surf, mushy, not so good ways, but with no one out. Yeah. Another one coming at him, Johnny. Like 15 minutes north from my house, you get to Noosa Heads. There's like five really fun sand point breaks up there that aren't really the most consistent, but when they're breaking, it's really fun. Growing up, it was the perfect place to find your feet and learn how to surf. And obviously, I had two older brothers that surfed, and, and mum and dad, the whole family surfed. So we go up there and spend the day, and everyone would just hang out, and such a cool place to grow up. Yeah, it's been 11 weeks since I've, I don't know, is it sprain? What did I do to it? Uh, I'd say, technically it's a high ankle sprain. Yeah. So it's an injury to the, the area that holds those two bones in your shin together. Yeah. And the ligaments around there, so quite a nasty injury. I found out that I also bumped into this guy that was a sports psychologist and he kind of set me in the right direction and got me in a positive mind frame and you know just treat it as something where I can set some goals and have a good look at what's going on and get serious about training and keeping my body in shape so there is a lot of positives that come out of it as well. When I'm at home and, you know, the waves aren't that good, there's always, you know, really fun stuff to do. You know, go and play some golf with my brothers or jump on my dirt bike and go and ride with my mates out about five minutes from here. And, uh, you know, it's a whole other world going out there and, and hanging out with my mates who, you know, got to work really hard and, and maintaining a big piece of land. And that's a totally different world to what I live. And I just love getting out there and, you know, getting in the mud and, and riding a dirt bike and kind of just forgetting about everything that I've got going on. 